Hi, this is Jens and uh, I would speak about interpolation, uh, interpolating measured data to STL, STL geometries which come from CUT systems and CAD systems. Yeah, well, uh, let's directly start how to do this. I suggest the following. You have here a tag plot. Now you open your measured data. We can go to load and then we can select the general text loader or if it's a tag plot file of course then feel free to directly use the tag plot data loader. Let's have a look at how does the measured data look and um, we see here we have an X, Y and Z coordinate and additionally we have a uh, um, a value which could be the pressure, so we have several columns for X, Y, Z and some value. It's a good idea to definitely have the, um, the coordinate names X, Y and Z because if you load STL files they will have also the X, Y and Z uh, coordinates and the names will be X, Y and Z and this makes TechPlot or gives TechPlot a chance to automatically assign the correct values. Okay, here we are. We um, will now read this general text and first we check the variables we scan the first line which contains the variables and you see here x y z and value is uh, yeah these are the correct names for the variables so that's fine and the data is given from line 2 to the end of the file and if you want to be sure that the data will be loaded then just click here on scan file view process data and you see X, Y, Z and value. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's, that's what we want. Now we go to 3D and if you like you can display the measured value on your screen. Yeah, the next and last step is that we add the STL data, so going here to load data files, select the 3D systems STL data loader, which she has already done. Then you select a STL file like this one here and um, we open and now it's important to append the data to the active frame and not to replace. Yeah, that's it. and. What I see now is the um, measured data as well as the, the scattered points from the geometry. This is not what I want. So go to zone style. Do not show the uh, scatter values of the geometry. So now the scatter uh, values are remaining which belong to the measured uh, data and here we switch to spheres, multi and this color now should be of course assigned to the value which I really measured. So this is the really the the, um, the values which have been measured and if you switch on the contours you naturally will see everything here in the blue tone which means that of course the measured value on the geometry is zero because there was never something measured which means that we now interpolate the measured value to that CAD geometry which is done in one simple step we go here to data interpolate inverse distance and then we select as the source zone our measured data 
and the value should be interpolated to the geometry, which is the second zone here. That's it. We interpolate and we see directly that now the, the measured uh, values are interpolated on that surface. That's it. Okay. Um, yeah. If you have further questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact me and uh, so you can write an email to jens.varkal at uh, genius-graphics.de. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.